Hello everyone and uh, in this recording I am gonna teach you how to make a Palo Alto port as a switch port. Um, I'm gonna do this project in the GNS3 so uh, I'm gonna drag configure a kind of scenario like uh, a Palo Alto with uh, internet NAT and then I'll add a kind of web term uh, in this scenario. Web term. It acts like a PC and uh, you can use it for management of the Palo Alto. So I will add it on screen. And I'm going to start my Palo Alto because it's going to take a long time. Uh, so the all services to comes up. So uh, maybe the good idea is just uh, drag one web term for management and the other one for showing that the traffic is passing through the firewall and reaching to the internet. So I'm going to connect this one to port 1 and this one to management. And also from port 2 to our NAT. So uh, I'm going to enable the labels to see better that which port is connected to uh, which uh, web term. And uh, so uh, uh, the goal is that I'm going to set this one, the management port, as uh, 192.168.0.2. So uh, this one is 0 0.2. And so the management port should be 0 0.1. I just edited some uh, lines in a web term. Uh, so this one is a management port. And uh, let's say this one is 192.168.100x and slash 24 because this piece, uh, this PC actually is going to receive the IP address from DHCP server. So to receive an IP from DHCP server, you should enable this part uh, in a web term configuration. So uh, now uh, this one is ready. So I'm going to start this uh, web term. So uh, at this point, I'm going to pause uh, the video until my uh, Palo Alto is ready and then I, I, I'll explain uh, the other steps. So the Palo Alto is ready now and uh, just we configure port, I guess port, uh, management port as 192.168.0.1. So we go on configure, uh, first of all uh, set device config as system type static and then set device config uh, sorry config system IP address 192.168.0.1 and netmask 255.255.255.0 I set the static IP address for management port and then I commit my configuration. So now the management port is ready. And I'm just waiting to, to see this, uh, the, uh, this task is completed successfully. All right. I think there isn't, it shouldn't be any issue. So um, in a few minutes, maybe we will receive a 
successful yeah there you go so uh, then we can go here and write https 192.168.0.1 and because this one is a version 10 of Palo Alto so the username password is not admin admin and it's gonna ask you to set that so I, I set the username password um, uh, in the command line and after that uh, we should set the uh, this interface and it h1 slash 2 as a DCP client so I'm gonna go under uh, network interfaces so we are under interfaces Ethernet 1 slash 2 this one so I'll double click uh, first of all I will change this one as a layer 3 and uh, I know that I'm gonna set the virtual router so uh, I set it as default so I can set the zone also I can set this one as outside outside and yeah so I, I just leave the other option as default and this one here is not a static it should be a DHCP client and the rest of that it just we set it as default so this one is good and uh, uh, the goal is to set the other interfaces so we have here uh, in in the management interface we have eight interfaces so I'm gonna set the other interfaces as a one VLAN and I set the DHCP for that VLAN uh, so to do that I I set another zone first of all uh, because I need the inside zone uh, to show that the other interfaces are inside so I'm gonna start from ETH1 slash 1 so it's 1 slash 1 is here so I'm gonna set this one as layer 2 layer 2 and um, let's just uh, set the VLAN here so um, the VLAN name let's say VLAN 100 and I'm gonna set the VLAN interface as a VLAN so like this and click OK so uh, you have assigned this one as a layer 2 the same thing I'm, I'm doing the same thing for um, the rest of the interfaces layer 2 and 100 and then for uh, layer 2 and 100 5 one more interface 5 layer 2 100 6 Right. So in this way, um, any ports it, it acts like a switch port, and you have one port as a van port, and the rest of that is LAN port. Uh, this is a solution that we are doing as uh, in Palo Alto for configuring uh, the rest of the port as a switch. So this one is 100. So this part is OK. I'm going to go under uh, this interface, VLAN, uh, the VLAN. So i just going to change that one. Maybe I didn't see that one. Uh, yeah, that the VLAN and 100. 
default. Uh, I didn't configure this one as a layer three. And uh, I, I should be able to see this all, hopefully. Yeah, this is inside. Okay, sounds good. And um, so something else that is very important here, Ethernet 1 slash 1 uh, is our gateway for the network. So I can assign the IP address IPv4 to VLAN. So here is going to be 192.168.101 slash 24. And this is our gateway. And yeah, it sounds good. And I'm going to go to under DHCP server now. And I set the VLAN. And uh, I set the IP pool like 192.168.110 until 192.168.130. And what else we can set here? Uh, we can set the, some options like a gateway 192.168.101, 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
configured correctly, I add another web term and I connect this one to port uh, Ethernet 1 slash 3 to see that which IP address I will receive. So again, I configure this one as DHCP. So this one is at DHCP. And let's see, let's start. So this is a web term. First, I check the IP address to see that what IP address I have received from DHCP. 111, that's correct. And what about the internet, Google? So uh, that's the successful configuration for uh, your uh, Palo Alto. So I configure port uh, Ethernet 1 slash 2 as a layer 3, the rest of that as a layer 2, and they act as a switch port. I created a VLAN and uh, in the VLAN, I can show you that uh, again, I set the VLAN as 192.168.101.24 and the rest of the Ethernet is layer 2. I hope you can use this configuration and uh, thanks for watching.